oftentimes with Megan and Harry, there are situations that seemingly is innocent if it was just r regular people. But when it comes to them, for whatever reason, the media has a tendency to know how to change something so innocent, make it become such a big controversial thing. Now, if you don't remember, this part from the Harry and Meghan documentary was such a big thing. I mean, they were angry. They were just felt so disrespected. Now, before I start showing you the clips and getting to the point of this whole thing, you will understand. I just want to say this. My supporters, the Sussex supporters, we get it. We see eye to eye. But for those who are just kind of like on the fence, who don't quite get it, I want you guys to know when to identify when there's a real issue and when you are being bamboozled with people who have a certain level of power, a certain level of influence, and they're using it and taking that and they're using it and taking advantage of that to create outrage where there is none. So I just want to put that disclaimer before I start showing these clips. So first, let's get to what the controversy came from. I just want to show a quick clip of that. Check it out. This is a big deal. I mean, Americans will understand this. We have medieval times, dinner and tournament. It was like that. Like I curtsied as though I was like... Now, in my head, I'm just thinking that's just someone who's being self-deprecating and just making fun of themselves. But no, as always, the UK media know how to spin. And when they have an angle, they're going to get that angle. So last week, because unfortunately, I do watch the negative coverage of, of Meghan and Harry, because sometimes I find gems, just like I found this gem. This first one, this is the first gem. Watch this. Rebecca, this is an interesting question for you because you spend a lot of time in and around, well, with the royals. I mean, what is the etiquette? Do you, do you sort of curtsy first thing in the morning and last thing at night or do you spend your whole day bobbing up and down? I suppose it depends who you are. So I actually, I don't because I think I'm there in a professional capacity. Oh, so you are queen. <laughs> These are the people who always criticize Meghan. But remember this tweet? Because that clip I just showed you wasn't even the worst of it. Remember this? You can do the dragon after I show you this next clip. I was, I was once, I once had to meet Prince Charles and I was given strict instructions on how to curtsy and sort of almost lessons on how to do it. And I very dutifully did all my lessons. And then when it came to the moment, I just bobbed. <laughs> I just lost my nerve. Everybody I don't know what it was. It's, it's, it's odd. You Maybe know. that's what happened to Daniel Craig. You know, he just got a bit nervous. Exactly. He, so no, he could have just princess. lost his nerve because it is suddenly overwhelming because you, you sort of know you're supposed to do something. And then if you're me, you just get it completely wrong. Uh, 